Hello everyone, my name is Zoe, and welcome to another game, Play Commentary. Uh, this is my yearly schizophrenia update video that I have found myself making e each and every year. Um, a lot has happened since my last update video, so I figured I should make a new one for you all that are curious about my developments. Uh, the past 12 months have been a series of ups and downs. <laughs> Soon after I made my last update video, things took a drastic turn for the worst. Uh, 2023 was probably the worst year of my life, if I'm being honest with you all and honest with myself. However, 2024 is shipping up to be one of the best of my life. So, this video is going to be <laughs> a lot of bad, but also a lot of good, and it has a happy ending. Uh, so don't worry about that. Now, before I get too into this, I know this probably isn't any of your business, but I am an open book. I always have been, and I wish to, to share my story with the world and put it out there that I am a survivor, and I survived my rock bottom, and I am on the road to recovery. Um, in the summer of 2023, I was actually admitted to a psychiatric hospital for the second time in my life. I spent around eight days in there, uh, absolutely drugged out of my mind on the new prescriptions the doctor had given me. Um, if you watched my, uh, my update video from last year, I mentioned that my, my symptoms had gotten much worse. But I was hopeful and happy and making progress. And for a while, it really did seem like I was getting better. But one night, there was a terrible incident. And I warn you, this story is graphic. I'm just putting that out, out there before I begin. So, I was home alone one night. Um, my family was out of town on a small vacation or something. And I was browsing Facebook, as I always do, <laughs> chronically online. And I accidentally ran into the first bully that I ever had in my life from when I was 8 years old in the, in, the, in the third grade. I hadn't seen his face in 16 years, but as soon as I laid eyes on him, memories rushed through my mind faster than anything I had ever experienced. Uh, I felt fear, genuine fear. Uh, it triggered my psychosis, and I immediately became extremely delusional. I believed that he was the root cause of all of, my, of, all of my troubles in life, such, 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 such as my schizophrenia and my autism. I believed he found me, and that he wanted to finish the job, so to speak. I believed he was going to track me down and kill me. Um, this wasn't ordinary anxiety. I was genuinely fearing for my life. I, I lived in constant fear like this for a few weeks, maybe a month. I, I can't really remember at this point. I was in such deep, deep psychosis that my memory from this part of my life is very, very faded, I guess is the way to put it. Um, it completely destroyed my mental health and the state of my mind. I was in constant deep psychosis, lie, lie, like I said. Um, I was completely out of it. Like, I was, uh, I was a shell of a person. My hallucinations got even more severe. The voices were to the point of yelling and screaming at me, telling me that I was going to, going to die. They also continued to tell me to hurt or even kill myself so that the bully couldn't get to me first. Um, as my mental state continued to worsen, I eventually started, started to give in to the voices, and I began to self-harm. By repeatedly, by, by, by repeatedly punching myself in the head, 
or banging my head against a hard surface su su such as the corner of a table or something like that. This went on, li like I said, for a few weeks to a month or so, and I only got worse and worse in, in, in the head. Eventually, I made the realization that I was no longer safe at, safe at home, and that the bully knew exactly where I lived. I felt like I had nowhere to go. I believed if I ran away from, from home that, that the bully would still find me somehow. Uh, I was in a rough state, so I know this doesn't, that this doesn't make any sense, but this is how psychotic delusions are. I decided that I needed to go back to the mental hospital. I figured I would be safe there because that place is, is always guarded by security guards that have weapons. So long story short, I made, and I made an appointment with my psychiatrist and told him everything that was going on and he helped me get admitted to the, to the psych ward. I won't go into too much detail on my visit since it was honestly pretty boring as you might expect. I might make it make an entirely entirely different video just on my experience at the mental hospitals, um, since since I have been to one on two different occasions. But anyway, uh, while I was there, I took part in group therapy sessions with other patients, and I actually made made a friend in there that also that also suffered from schizophrenia. Making that connection with someone really changed my uh, my, my outlook on life, uh, absolutely for for the better. I was also, of course, drugged up beyond belief in there. I was on an insanely high dose of anti of antipsychotics, due to, due to how severe my hallucinations and delusions were. So, I spent eight days in there and. I must say, it was absolutely life-changing. The difference in my mental state from before and after my visit is like a night and day. Fast forward, fast forward near nearly a year, and I am absolutely thrilled to share with you all that my symptoms have improved tenfold. Uh, my schizophrenia is not completely in in remission, but my symptoms are ex are extremely light. And I am slowly starting to live a normal, happy life. My symptoms are very manageable for me at the moment. If you watched my uh, last year's update video, I talked about how I talked about how severe my hallucinations were. My visual hallucinations hallucinations were scary as hell. Uh, there used to be a tall, shadowy figure that would follow close to me at all times and creep me out. Now. I only ever see the shadow peep the shadow pe people in the distance if I'm in a large open space like walking on a walking on a street or in a Walmart or something uh, they do not scare me whatsoever anymore As for my auditory hallucinations those have also improved tremendously I said in the past that I hear voices literally 24-7, and that they tell me to hurt myself, and other un unappealing things. I'm happy to say that while the voices are still there, they are so quiet now that I can barely bar that I can barely hear them, and even then, it is only when I am in a completely quiet room or holding my ears shut, and the voices no longer tell me to hurt myself. So <laughs> I'm, I'm so happy. Uh, I thought I would have to live in a nightmare for the rest of my life, but I'm happy to be wrong. Regarding my delusions, those have also improved. Uh, I no longer believe my, my old bully is trying to track me down or kill me or anything of the sort. I am more mindful of my thoughts, and I've only had a few minor hiccups the past few months, which I'm ha- which I'm ha- which I am happy about. Now, you may be wondering what switch flipped in my brain to make me start feeling better and loving life. Well, it was a multitude of things. Uh, it all started with my stay in the mental hospital. I don't know why exactly, but 
that was just an just an absolutely life changing experience. Just arriving there and spending my first night in my crappy bed, I realized I was safe, and there was no reason to, for me to be so afraid of the unknown. Um, I'm sure you know the abundance of drugs given to me helped too. Uh, like I said, I was on a pretty high dose of antipsychotics. So much, in fact, that it actually lowered my cognitive functions, such as my memory and my attention span. Um, but over the course of this year, I've been working to lower my dosage and regain my and regain my brain power, so so to speak. Um, also, he will never see this, but I really want to thank my therapist, Paul. I would also really like, really like to thank my family and friends for not giving up on me. I know I got pretty rough there for a while, but I'm proud to say that this is the best I have felt since I was 7 year, years old, before the bullies found me. I love my life. I've started exploring the outside world. My favorite thing to do is visiting my favorite co co coffee shop that I've become a regular at. I'd go there two, three, two to three times a week and hang out and study. Now, study what, you may ask? Buddhism. I've never been one for religion, and quite frankly, I'm still not. <laughs> uh, I see Buddhism as more of a philosophy and way of life. I've taken refuge in the Dharma, the Buddha, and the Sangha. I've shaved my head out of love for, out of love for myself and new beginnings. And I am genuinely happy. I so look forward to what the future holds for little for little old me. I I wonder what next year's update video will be like. Maybe my schizophrenia some symptoms will be long gone. Who knows? Relap relapses will happen, that is a simple fact of life, but I am confident that I will be able to work my way through them now. Thank you all so much for watching this video and going on this crazy journey with me. This is my 11th year making content on the internet, and I have no plans to stop anytime, anytime soon. In fact, I plan on doing even more, so please check out my socials in the video description if you are interested. Especially my Twitch page where I do live streams. I look forward to my future with all of you. Thank you for watching. May you all be well and at peace. Namo Buddhaya.